Uh, approximately 12.40 this last night, early this morning, uh, received a call of a house fire, an explosion in Sterling. Uh, deputies respond along with fire personnel and uh, found the house uh, involved in a, a fire with the side blowed out of it from the uh, explosion. The house appears at this time it was abandoned. No one was living in it at the time because of a prior fire approximately a month ago. Do you know anything about that fire? N no, at this time it was uh, considered undetermined, so the cause was not determined at that point. And they were in the process of renovations. So this is being investigated as a hate crime? Yes, uh, because of the um, spray painting on the garage, uh, the, there were some racial slurs and a swastika that was spray painted on that. Uh, we are not going to tolerate that type of uh, activity and behavior here and, and uh, we're going to make sure that we use all the resources available to us including the FBI, state fire marshals and our office and any other agencies that we need to bring in to uh, fully investigate this we will. What indicates that this was intentionally set? The house was number one unoccupied, no uh, electricity or uh, natural gas to it. The gas uh, earlier in the day before had been uh, disconnected by the gas company. You can answer the mic for this, but is there anything that has happened before like this here in Wayne County? Is this a, it's been a problem at this house or anywhere with the hate? No, not that I can recall. And you said uh, previously you're not going to tolerate that. I mean, is this kind of crime, this kind of behavior disappointing to you as a sheriff? Yes, absolutely it is. Uh, you know, everybody in this uh, county here is, you know, we've, we've got a very close-knit community and very supportive and not, not only with each other and especially when, you know, you, you have um, problems within the community. You know, they, they, they all pull together and join forces and to, to see this type of activity is very disappointing and thinking that, you know, one or a couple people could have that type of behavior directed couple, toward someone. Seeing that couple looking at their house, I mean, how does that make you feel knowing that, again, this is a hate crime? Oh, it's heartbreaking to, to, to see that. Um, what's next in your investigation? Uh, the fire marshal at this point there, they're, they're going to sift through the debris to make an actual determination of um, what was the actual cause and uh, what was used for an accelerant. Is there anything here that might make you think someone could be in the rubble? Um, yeah, there's always a possibility. You, you, you can't make that determination yet. That there's a lot of debris that's, you know, has fallen in on top of itself on the, uh, the house itself. Are, are they now, I mean, I see someone back there going through it. Are you guys just going to have to really get in there and, and look? Yes, that's correct. Yes, once, once they uh, start gathering the evidence that they can, they'll just uh, piece by piece pull it out and start making that um, visual. The captain earlier mentioned about how difficult these kind of crime scenes are because, look at it, I mean, it's a mess. Can you talk a little bit about that, about how that will affect the investigation, the fact that your crime scene is a pile of rubble? Yeah, you know, they, they had to do some uh, deconstruction to remove some of the, the debris to, to get into to actually fight the fire. And then you have the water on top of it. And, you know, the, the, the fire itself destroys a lot of the evidence. So it does, it does make it uh, more difficult, but that's where the um, crime labs uh, and the, their uh, expertise in those levels will come through for us to make a determination of what was used and how the, the fire actually originated. And I understand there was a gas leak here yesterday? Well, th there was uh, construction workers that were doing the remodeling from the previous uh, fire thought they smelt some gas and then the gas company was called. I know we had a deputy that responded here to uh, check with them and then the gas company was called and they uh, went ahead and took the meter clear out. They did a total disconnect so, so there was no gas at all. So a deputy was here yesterday all before this even started? Yes. But there was, uh, you know, documentation that there was no racial slurs or swastikas on the house and uh, th those vehicles uh, were not spray painted either. Are you guys offering any type of reward for to catch someone? Uh, to my knowledge at this point there's none. Okay. And you might have already said this, but how did you, were you aware of it? Was there a 911 call placed? Uh, yes, I believe there was. A, it was a, approximately 1240. I can get those informations for you. Okay.
that would be great. Thank you. Um, I was going to say, uh, fire department on scene yes. as well? Okay. Yes, yes. How, how many departments do you know? Uh, my knowledge right now was three. Three, okay. But I, I can get you an exact number. Is it just those two cars in the garage and the house had graffiti on it? Yes. And to be clear, though, even the cars are the neighbor's cars. As far, yeah, from, from what I understand, the cars did not belong to the, the couple that lived in the residence. And yeah, it looks like a two-story house? Yes, it was. No animals or kids or anything like no. that? No. It was just a couple? Right. Sheriff, could you give your uh, name and uh, spelling again? Travis Hutchinson, T-R-A-V-I-S-H-U-T-C-H-I-N-S-O-N. Thank you, Sheriff. We appreciate it. Thank you very so welcome. much. I appreciate Thank you. It. And I'll I'll yeah, get you the I'll get <laughs> yeah I'll get you all the information About with like the nine one one call. Nine one one call and the exact time and the exact number of. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys, I'm not sure who's mic's not grabbing. Probably doorbell video or anybody. Well, no, that's why I was just checking there earlier, and then everybody said that there was no video in the. And the, uh, the uh, because of the suspicious activity that you know these guys had, they were they were actually going to install some trail cams yesterday. And, you know, mm -hmm. We had those heavy storms that came through. But what suspicious activity? Well, that, that, that's that's they didn't. They, that's part of the smelt. investigation? Yeah. Part, <laughs> I was just saying. I was just saying. I don't know. <laughs> okay. case, yeah, they, so they were basically feeling like they should do this for their own protection. Yeah. What, what was the backside? Was the gas leak suspicious, though? I mean. Well, it appears, it appears you know, the workers stopped the smell gas, but it never was determined there actually was any gas. Well, the gas had been shut off. Okay. And they, there was never a determination of any gas in there. Okay. They, they went ahead and disconnected the meter and totally removed it, so there was no way that uh, there would be any questions. So then, at, at this point, you know, was there, have you been able to determine if there was like some sort of explosive used, or if they just lit a fire and there like, was gas present? That yeah, we haven't had no idea. So you haven't found any definitive like, explosive material? No. Okay. Not, not, not that I've Sorry. been told. Sorry, in your way. I'm, I'm not aware of any. Sorry. No, I, I, I don't know if they. No, I don't know if they felt there was any suspicious activity. They were just going to put some trail cameras up just to watch their place because nobody was there. Nobody was at the house, so they just wanted to make sure that if there was any suspicious activity, it would have been recorded. So they, they were, you know, they were just going to be proactive instead of reactive. Pardon me. You know, I don't know. I know she called us over that like 20, 23 years or something. Oh, yeah. They've been together for as long as they've owned the house. Wow. And the cameras yeah. are in the same What's that? Oh, they never got oh, a yeah, period. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, you know, I, I guess, you know, when you have when you have a house, it's, it's vacant. And it's hard to keep insurance. You know, with a vacant residence, so, you know, if, if you do have any surprises that come along, you, you know, it's always good to have videos. Oh, that's channel on one, because the microphone's so, turned off. Yeah, I, I, that's just a, always high. Yeah, yeah, you can, can you can't control it. You're not at home, you know. It's very damn. Uh, yeah. But I'll get all these. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I'll get all those. Thank you. For you. I got the. I don't. I can't tell that those are mine. I just. I got it. That's fine. So trying to really get out of both of your way. I'm on the bus to the ankle right here. I saw that. However, they were feeling uneasy about. They were having some issues. Yes, Peter. <laughs> Sick.
great pipes. They're right at the TV. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you.